video cast is going to cover benchmark 7, which is going to talk about how nutrients and other substances cycle in, new, in ecosystems. And we're going to focus especially on the carbon cycle. There are many elements in nature that do recycle in ecosystems, but remember, energy is not an element and it doesn't recycle. Some of the recycling elements that you need to be familiar with are carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and other elements that are often referred to as fertilizers, and water, which really isn't an element, it's a compound. But all these things, one, two, three, four different things, do recycle in um, ecosystems. But carbon is probably the most important one to understand for this class. Now here's, we're going to talk about the carbon cycle, which is the movement of carbon through ecosystems. Now we're going to start with the carbon dioxide in the air or in the atmosphere. And this CO2, and notice the red C here, which stands for carbon, the carbon is absorbed in the form of carbon dioxide by producers. And during the process called photosynthesis, this carbon dioxide is combined with water to produce carbohydrates. Okay, now carbohydrates are probably the simplest form of food molecules. A carbohydrate you probably have heard of are sugars, like glucose. Now these carbohydrates are in food, which is then consumed in food chains and food webs, which we've already talked about. And as organisms use or burn these carbohydrates for energy, they then release carbon dioxide when they exhale, and this escapes into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is also released by decomposers as they break down the bodies of dead plants and animals. So this, as you can see, is a loop. It has no beginning and it has no end, and it recycles carbon in ecosystems. Now, burning of Carbohydrates from food is often referred to as cellular respiration, and the conversion of carbon dioxide in, with water, or the conversion of carbon dioxide and water into carbohydrates is also known as photosynthesis. Now here's a picture of the carbon cycle, and I want you guys to notice a few things. Okay, the energy from the sun is driving photosynthesis, which is taking carbon dioxide from the atmosphere inside of a producer and producing something called organic carbon or biomass or carbohydrate, however you want to refer to it. All right. Then this material can then go a couple different places. It can ac accumulate underground and form fossil fuels like uh, natural gas, coal, and petroleum. Or this organic material can be eaten by animals, uh, consumers, and as they exhale, they're releasing it into the, into the atmosphere again in the form of carbon dioxide. Or this Carbohydrate material can be burned in fires, like inside of a factory or inside of a car, and this produces emissions, which are also rich in carbon dioxide. And finally, some of this carbon can be absorbed, or carbon dioxide can be absorbed by ocean water and converted to limestone, which then settles to the bottom and gets kind of uh, socked away for the future and doesn't get back into the atmosphere unless it gets melted um, due to plate tectonics as part of volcanism. So coal, natural gas, and petroleum can store carbon as fossil fuels underground. And it's stable in that form. It can stay there for millions of years and not cause problems in the atmosphere, like we're seeing with the carbon dioxide being released today by the burning of fossil fuels. Ocean organisms also, as I said earlier, can store the carbon dioxide in the form of limestone. You've probably seen this limestone in the shells of things like clams and oysters. And this material can then store away even more carbon underwater in the form of rock. Fire and the burning of fossil fuels releases a lot of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And scientists believe that as carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere goes up, it increases the atmosphere's ability to hold on to heat, which may be contributing to, go to uh, global warming. Okay, our next podcast or our next video cast is going to cover Benchmark 8, but we're going to stop there.